welcome to another exciting episode on trending entertainment news where i give you the latest stories on entertainment for the week i am kende bashir okay guys i'm so excited today because i have good news for you yeah my stories are for you today are filled with good news you want to hear them you will i'd like to go on a quick break stay tuned <music> Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're still on Trending Entertainment News where I give you the latest entertainment news for the week. Yeah, so today I have a, 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 a very, very cute vanilla topping guy. You know, today's not about Melanie Poppy. Yeah, do you understand? So um, he's a movie critic and also a social commentator. And guys, if you hear this guy's voice, oh my God, he's gonna take you away. In person of Damilare, Alma Oduayo. Yeah, give me your voice. Hi Sharp guys, and uh, nice. thank you very much. You're Hi welcome. guys, um, it's good to be here. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to a great show. Okay. I'm sure this is going to be exciting. It will. And um, it will. one more thing, I. Okay. Your candy, yeah. Yes, and I love your voice. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you yes, very I much. Yes, I am candy. Well, apart from that, I've always wanted to do this eology thing on on air. Oh, I don't know please if... go on, go on. About horse, right, twins? Yeah, about horse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring so, it on, um, bring it on. Pardon my Yoruba. Excuse me. It's <laughs> it's it's acceptable anyone. Right, um. Ijira rice. Oh, bust me. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, goosebumps. Yes, now. Oh my god. Thank you. I see my body goosebumps. Oh, thank you. Thank, thanks for that. But wait, 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 wait. I was enjoying it. But then I think. I would even like. Do you sing? Uh, no, exactly. No, you need to do a freestyle. I feel that you should have that. Please. What's your favorite song? So just, um, you know, sing. I basically don't have a favorite song. Sing at the anyone. Moment, but then um, I'm into slow songs. Okay, and... let's go. Make it slow. Anyone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I just speak randomly from. Of course. The song. Yeah, you can. I won't take it from the top. I'm just taking it from. Freestyle, no yeah. problem. It's acceptable. All right. Um, my sunshine, baby, don't you go away. are you watching I this? Me, hey, I love you. I love you for. Oh, Shay. I will I love you for you know, guys, I'm actually doing this because of the you know good news we have for you. Yeah. So now let's we, we've done some freestyles and all right. that. So let's freestyle our stories for them now. Right. Are you ready? Okay. Um, we have a good story about Josh Too Funny. I suffered pain for eleven years. Comedian Josh Too Funny said this after surgery. And when I saw the story, I was you know moved, and I was like, okay, because he said that he has been living with this um um undisclosed illness, you know, with like eleven years, right? Right. So. Um, now it was, I think he was rushed to the hospital. He even took a video of himself in the hospital while, you know, after the surgery and all of that. So he came on board and he was like, oh, thanks to everyone who called. Thanks to my like, wife, family. They were always there for me and all of that. So what do you have to say about the story? Well, um, as you've said before, this is a day of happy, happy stories. Yeah. yeah. this is really a happy story. But um, for him to have lived 11 years, Mm. With a kind of vascular pain and not yeah. really disclose it out, it takes a whole lot of mental power. Mm -hmm. And majorly, people don't even check and see what people are going through. For yeah. example, his name is George Tufani, and we feel like he's funny. He's too, so, too funny. <laughs> so we feel like because he's always laughing or trying mm -hmm. to make us laugh, he mm -hmm. doesn't have problems in his life. Mm. And this is not so. This is one of the major causes of depression among youths nowadays yeah. so he has battled with this kind of thing for 11 years and yeah. someone will see him on the road and be like guy how far hmm. and it feels like everything is well no. but this thing is only just pointing us to the fact that check on your closest friend yeah like someone might be going through something that you don't even know no about. about like you might be very close but then you don't know what they're going through exactly. never downplay someone's need for attention never mm -hmm. downplay someone's need for love yeah everyone needs a hug once in a while no matter how strong they are hmm. all boys cry 
<laughs> we might just pretend we mm. cry look at 11 years that's 11 years. It's really a very good story i i really i'm happy for him i'm happy for i'm his also family. happy I'm, for him it's a good happy day yeah congratulations to congratulations you just to funny you for so making well, yeah. it strong and you know coming out well okay now um ah, in fact in this one in fact let me just see it first femi adebayo he said uh, why i bought a why i bought a car for my employee yeah it's a big one right yeah. now he said that that we all know popular nigerian actor femi adebayo and he surprised the members of his staff recently when he gave one of them yemi akin losotu that's his um, staff a car and he said that the reason why he did this was because of yemi's hard work commitment and you know how he does his work and all of that now this story this um guy yemi yemi happens to be um a student like an ex-student in um, femi adebayo's academy film that is film school that's j15 um academy um so he said femi was a very very hardworking person while he was in school and all of that so because of that he had to retain um yemi do you understand so when he saw that okay yemi has been doing this and doing that he's trustworthy commitment top notch hard work top notch so he was like okay what can i even do to you know appreciate this guy so he got him a car he handed him like he gave him a brown envelope and that brown, i was even thinking that maybe he even topped the he even topped it with money i never knew that it was even the document of the car you understand so what kind of about the story do you think uh, that you know it's high time for you know our employers out there to wake up and try to do some yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i feel like this um gesture is laudable yeah um, very like we should give him a round of applause for that <laughs> because, uh, majorly in the nigerian market right now yeah since i've been alive it's there's not really been uh, a kind of um complimenting your, mm. your your staff, your staff. It's, uh, it has always been majorly like i pay him so mm -hmm. he has to do the job mm. but what we don't know is that there's some underlying factors down there that we should always take note of okay. for example um a staff comes to work every day some are always having issues at home but um i feel like if employers start taking taking up this culture of um giving appreciation, kind of appreciation yeah giving like, like it's it goes a long way for example now someone is i'm coming to the office i'm looking very sad and then one of my employers see me and is like let me just order donuts for all of them mm, she... <laughs> it doesn't mean nothing it's just 15 era donuts yeah but, but then can the do. gesture hmm. like okay this man cares about us he told me that i was not feeling, feeling too, too good well. and then he just felt like okay what can i do to make this person so that would i i, I think that would like jump start uh, another eagerness to walk exactly to him, um another fresh list, list of life mm -hmm. probably was thinking that what am i supposed to do today mm -hmm. but then that small gesture mm. will feel like okay i have to do something that do he should something. be proud of today something exactly. that he can see and say that okay thumbs up to you so if this culture of always giving or always like reaching out to people that mm. you feel like i've been loyal i've mm -hmm. been doing well can be inculcated in all our employers i feel like nigeria will be a better place in in not so far future because yeah. i see good things coming out from this and this is a very very good thing coming from fabian bio we all love yeah. him but this one has made me love him Look, more. like more and so, more and more um that's, it's a very good one anyway yeah. so shout out to still a good day, still a good happy day yeah. yes 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 you can say that again okay another good news hey our mama is engaged though ooh, ooh, ooh. who's that who's that shay shay is engaged though. <laughs> Oh, that was this song. I'm coming back. To, I'm coming back for you. Okay. Um, I saw these on uh on um on the news, and she was being she was an in, she was she was um she was interviewed, and then probably the presenter saw something shining, you know, and, she, and the person and the presenter was like, "Wow, she she was there. Like, what's that on your finger?" She was like, "Oh." it's diamond it's a diamond ring some guy just you know asked if i would marry him and i said yes and she didn't disclose the guy she didn't tell us about the guy and all of that so um i'm really really excited that she's you know she'll be knotting she'll be tying the knot soon and you know i'm just excited shay shay kilo shay now why are you not happy uh -uh. i'm happy you're um, happy it's just, it's just just a little bit of guitar sweet memory uh -uh. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I want to be happy for her you but, have to be happy for her is, 
she she's always been my crush and then Aww. now getting to know that she's, she's taking crazy. sorry bro oh sorry God. bro <laughs> Shay, you have a crush you know <laughs> but I am happy for her. It's it's, sure. it's really 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 a happy day. I mm-hmm. guess um she's done so much in the music industry and she's brought so much flair, so much passion and yeah. so much everything. And she really deserves this break. And I'm just happy for her and I wish her all the best. But mm. still, ah, ah, your crush ah. is wishing you were boys oh, like. God. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> don't allow don't 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 allow Ma to, to come and harrow you. I want to know this. Ah, she she hey 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 more for somebody is for for you yeah. <laughs> well, that's a very good one. Good news everywhere, and you know we'll be now good news go the year in Jesus yeah, name. Yeah, <laughs> okay, now the last but not the least. Ah, this one is over good over good over good good good. Is it's about a y macon um comedian a y macon and wife welcome second child after 13 years oh wow, wow, Jehovah. Wow. yeah 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 congratulations congratulations okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay now we all know a y now a y life mm-hmm. So they have, you know, welcomed their second child after 13 years. And, you know, it was so happy. And on his Instagram page, it was like, our prayers in the last 13 years has been answered. Ayomi Day, thank you for making real Mabel Macon and I, mommy and daddy again. Then he said, thank you for making Michelle a big sister. Thanks to everyone who kept us in their prayers and never stopped feeding us with positive vibes. Aww. So damn Larry, hmm, the newborn has made um AY and his wife parents again. Congratulations to the AYs. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So uh, let's I, you know talk about all this good news. Uh, okay. since this is a very big one. Of course. And um, uh, I just am happy for the Malcolms and um 13 years, that's a really, really long wait and uh, big one. it's just it's just amazing because mm-hmm. I just feel like all in all, God has a plan for everything. Exactly, yeah. They're waiting 13 years to give them something else mm-hmm. after the chill. I don't think it's because they're not been trying. Or mm. it's just because God has a plan for everything. Probably after two years after the chill, they would have... Maybe something them, would have happened or yeah. something. But God has a reason for keeping them till yeah. now. And then giving them... They blessing them with another one. And they named that Ayomide. Ayomide. When my joy has come. So yeah. It really is a joyful weekend, as mm-hmm. we've said it. Yeah. And, um, I really am very happy for them and I wish Ayomide the best of life. Yeah, amen. I, I wish her love life, I wish her prosperity and I wish her all the good things of life. So. Amen. And come to think of it, Michelle Ayomide, it means that, in fact, uh, Michelle won't be called maybe Auntie Michelle by Ayomide. It is mommy mm-hmm. Michelle because 13 years, oh my god, it's too long. She's only the only then, back in her now. No, Meto, never be mates. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, congratulations to the Marcons and we pray that God keeps the child. Amen. Yeah. So, Damilare, it's a wrap. Oh, we're going already. Hey, you don't want to go. You don't I'm want to go. You. In, oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I'm so um, thank you for coming to to grace my thank, show. Thank you for show. Yeah, and I love your voice. You know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, guys, and that's all we have for you in today's episode. I hope you had fun watching. Yeah, you're gonna have fun because my guest voice was everything, and my presentation was. <laughs> Dope. And the good news were fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. So do join us next week as we you know we bring you um juicy stories on entertainment. Um don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms at all news nigeria. Don't forget to like and comment and you know keep loving us because we love you. I still remain your humble host, Kenny Bashu. Bye and please stay safe. Yeah. Bye.